Okay, let's go. First thing we need to do is uh, select everything. So hit A and press X to delete everything. We create a new sphere for this one. So hold down Shift and press A. A new UV sphere. And we're gonna drag this window a little bit up here so we can change it to the geometry node editor and create a new geometry node. This is a really simple geometry node setup so this won't take too long. Uh, first thing we gonna put in here is the extrude mesh node and a scale elements node. So search for scale elements and place it in here. And we also need the set material node so we can assign a material later and a shade smooth node. Set shade smooth and place it before the set material. Okay, now we drag the top into the selection and we need some random values to make this a little bit more randomized. So search for random value and we duplicate this one with shift D and drag the value from the first one into the offset and the second one into the scale. And now we can change some values here. In the extrude mesh we're going to type in 0 0.02. Um, the random value for the um, extrude mesh we type in 12 and change the scale elements from face to edge and uniform. So now we add a new modifier, uh, the wireframe modifier, um, change the thickness to 0.5, mm, disable even and check relative. And what we also need is a subdivision surface. Um, we can leave the level at 1. And yeah, if you want to change something in the geometry nodes, you can just click on geometry nodes here and, and yeah, play around with the values. Um, this is the basic setup for this. And now we are going to create the environment. Okay, let's drag this down a bit here. We create a new plane, shift A and mesh and plane. Scale it up a bit, press G and Z to move it down. Somewhere around here. Or well, let's duplicate our workspace. Um, right, right click on the workspace here and duplicate. So we can um, change it to the shader editor and switch between those two. Okay, change this one to shader editor and we create a new material. Mm. Okay, I searched for some images on uh, Polyhaven and found an image called Rocky Trail. Um, I downloaded the diffused map, um, displacement and roughness. And I'm just going to drag this in our blend file. So this is the diffused one, our displacement and the roughness. Okay, first let's change the render engine from EV to Cycles. Gonna drag this up a bit. And first thing we are plugging in is the diffuse into the base color. Mm, this one is the displacement. Um, the roughness into the roughness. And we create a uh, bump. Drag this in here into the normal and the normal into the displacement. Okay, let's see how this looks like. If you press Z you can um, change between the modes here. And in the rendered view we see that we don't got a light source so we add a new one. Hit Shift A and add a light source. We use an area light. Mm. You can press G and Z to move it up and S to scale it. We head over to the settings for this light and increase the power to something like 500. Mm, go to the front view and press G and move it a little bit to the side. R to rotate it. G again. And the spread, we're gonna decrease this to something like 50. Okay. 
Now we got much sharper shadows. I'm gonna drag this down a bit. Mm, let's head over to the world settings and view all. I'm gonna change the color to black. Let's add a camera to the scene. Mm, we're gonna create a new window, render our uh, preview on the left window. And this one is for editing. So we hit Shift A. <clears throat> now let's get into the front view. Hit Shift A and add a camera. Go to the side view <clears throat> and press G and move it to the side. G and uh, X. Um, select the camera icon. Um, let's drag this up a bit. And press N. Go to view and camera to view. You can press N again to hide that window. And we're gonna drag this a little bit out here. Let's make a camera from the top. Something like this. So press N and disable the camera to view. Let's press uh, options shift Z to um, hide the grid and T to hide the menu. Let's drag this out a bit so we can see more. Um, you can also um, select the camera, go over to the camera settings and search for the option Passport 2. Um, it is in the viewport display and just drag it to one so we don't got the uh, stuff on the side. Um, I want to change the ground, so select the plane, mm, go over to object and let's add a hue and saturation node between here and drag the saturation to zero, so we got a grayscale. Okay, let's play around with the light a bit. Um, select our area light. Let's see if we can find a better position for this. gonna decrease the power to something like 300 or 200. Let's um, create a new light source in the middle of the object. Mm, we're gonna use the point light and decrease the power to 500. Let's see how this looks. Change the color and we're gonna uh, decrease the spread. Yeah, 2.1. We can disable the area light we created first. Now you see we got some really nice shadows and light. So yeah, this is the basic idea. Mm, a really simple geometry node setup. Uh, play around with the values, create more light sources, um, and yeah experiment with this and yeah I played around a bit uh, with the light sources and changed the material of our sphere this is what I got now this is the final one I came up with um, I placed an area light uh, over the object um, Gave it a spread of 50, a power of 400. Um, the point line in the middle of the object got a power of 1000 and a light blue color. Mm, I expanded the plane a bit and yeah, placed the camera um, directly in front of the object. Also changed the color of the um, object. I gave it a gray color and don't forget to head over to your geometry nodes. We got the set material node. Um, here you can choose the material you want for your geometry nodes. So I just wanted to show you how cool geometry nodes are and what kind of nice results you get with um, a pretty basic geometry node setup. Um, you can use the geometry node setup for um, every object you got. Uh, play around with the values. You get a lot of different results. And yeah, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you like this one. If you do, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hopefully see you in the next one. Peace.